Hey everyone, Wags here from Eagle Dynamics, and in this DCS AH64D video, we'll look at the next big new feature coming to the AH64D, the Image Auto Tracker, or IAT, in its Multi Target Tracker Sub Mode, or MTT. Earlier, tracking a moving target through the TEDs would be done with the Linear Motion Compensator, or LMC. However, using LMC effectively can take a lot of practice and can be difficult to use if you don't have a really good mini stick on your control. IAT will make target tracking super easy and it can be used with either the FLIR or the Day TV camera. Let's get started. Now, before we jump in the aircraft, let's go over some of the very basic controls. Uh, first, I want to make sure we're an AH64D CPG uh, because we can only use IET from the TADS, which is in the CPG seat. And next, go to Axis Commands, and I always assign my uh, TADS SLU to the right hand cont controller, which is RHG, right hand controller, manual track controller, X axes, and Y axes. And there's also keyboard equivalents on the right hand grip. Come down next to the left hand grip. And the big one here is going to be the IAT controls, which we have here. So left hand grip, LHG, image auto tracker, offset switch, IAT center, which is going to be up, and offset center, which is going to be down. And finally, we'll go to the right hand grip. And the one here is going to be the right hand grip, MTT promote switch, forward and center. And we'll talk about these in the video in a few minutes. Okay, let's go. Alrighty, so let's take a look at IAT. And to use it, we're going to need to do so on the TADS. So naturally, we're here in the co-pilot gunner station. And to start with, there's two primary controls we're going to be using. On the right-hand grip, it's a manual tracker, which we'll use to slew the TADS. And on the left-hand grip, we have the IAT switch. Uh, image auto tracker go forward and offset OFS going aft. Let's go ahead and bring our pilot back on. Okay, so up ahead I have some targets. Let's go ahead and change our field of view and take a look. There's one there. So, with IAT, we can do one primary track and up to two secondary tracks. And we're first going to take a look at a primary track. And to set a primary, we're simply going to uh, slew the line of sight reticle over the target we want. And then we'll press forward on the IAT switch. And we do that, we now see that we have a gate around the target. And we also have the line of sight uh, reticle following it. It's going to keep the primary track in the center of the TADS display. You can also see one there, and that indicates that it is track one. And up in the corner, it means the total number of tracks we have right now. If we were to use the manual tracker and slew off, you notice that the gate goes into non-bold. If we want to resume tracking, we'll go aft on the IAT switch to the OFS position and automatically moves the line of sight reticle back over the target and keeps tracking that target now. If we want to shoot it, we can simply blaze it, fire. Okay, now let's take a look at a different target. Uh, to drop it entirely, we'll just go aft on OFS. So target right below, same thing. Place the line of sight reticle over it. Hit IAT forward. We have a primary track. What we're gonna see now is if the uh, track becomes obscured, we're first going to see an inertial indication by four uh, rectangles. And then it'll break those out into 16 if it's a low confidence. So, sold those four rectangles, went into inertial, went behind that building. Okay, 
inertial, inertial, okay. So four boxes is inertial. Now it goes into low confidence, indicate what segments of those boxes, and eventually it drops the track entirely. You'll see a track one dropped below there. Let's bring it up again. Track. You also notice right in the center is a smaller little box that indicates uh, where we're tracking within that centroid of the gate. You could adjust that as well if you want. So inertial. Low confidence. And dropped. So one more thing. Let's uh, make this our primary track here. If we slew off and the track is outside the field of view, we have a line in a bracket indicating that's our primary track with a one indicating it's track one. We want to uh, refollow it again. We'll go aft on the IAT switch to OFS. And automatically resumes tracking. So as you can see, uh, primary track is uh, super helpful, uh, certainly for stationary targets, but even more so for movie targets now. Okay, now as mentioned earlier, in addition to the primary track, we can do two secondary tracks. And this is really the power of MTT. So first, let's change our field of view. And the first thing we need to do is make a primary track. So just as before, we're going to place the TADS line set reticle over a target and press forward on the IAT switch. When we do that, we have the gate around the target. Now what we can do is we can slew it off using the manual cursor, place it over a new target, IAT forward. And we've made that now uh, track two, which is the new primary target, and track one is a secondary target indicated by the flag. We can do a second, one now two, and now track three is the primary, track one and two are secondaries. If I want to slew back to the primary, I'll go aft on the IAT switch. And if I want to remove track three as my primary, I'll go aft on IAT. That makes track two the new primary. We do it again. It removes track two as a primary. It makes track one the primary again. Designate this one more time. Just as before, if we change the field of view and it's off, we'll see the track number in a line, either solid or dashed, in the direction. And again, if it's dashed, you can see here, it means uh, lower confidence. Get rid of these by holding aft long on the IAT switch. Designate again. And this one. And just as before, we can see that when the secondary goes behind a building, the flag becomes dashed large and then smaller, indicating that it went from inertial and then to low confidence and then it's dropped. Last, let's go ahead and designate the top ones again. So using the unused switch fore and aft on the right hand grip, we can go forward to cycle between the three tracks to decide who is going to be the primary. So right now, the primary is three, we go forward, Track one is the primary, forward again. Track two is the primary, forward again, back to track three. Or we can go aft and reverse it. So, back to track two being the primary, and back to track one being the primary. 
So folks, I hope you enjoyed this little video on IAT, and I'll see you the next time. Thanks.